Hello and welcome to Cadenza. Here we are again, good friends, exploring the realms of the creative mind for those things that inspire us to action, those things that force us to create with the firm and foundational belief that in this world, at this moment, we would have no other choice. When forced by inspiration to act, there are few boundaries and few rules. The act of creating the thing takes center stage, and all other things must step aside, at least until we, the creators, have made enough of the thing to find the right moment to pause. Sometimes that only comes when the thing is truly finished. Other times it comes when we run ourselves ragged and raw to the point where stopping, if only for a moment to regroup, is the only viable option in regards to our personal safety. And what is often labeled as the greatest motivator, the greatest source of creative inspiration known to humankind? Why, love. After all, it's all you need, right? That and maybe perhaps a really great sandwich. Yes, with love and a sandwich, all things are possible, even writing a love song. A good friend of mine told me once that all songs are love songs. I believe that could be true. It certainly takes the work out of trying to classify the song you intend to write, but sometimes being saddled with a topic or genre or whatever is counterproductive to the creative flow. It's like when you're standing there minding your own business and someone says to you, people say you're funny, tell me a joke, or make me laugh, or some other veiled threat of intimidation. No matter how much you might want to level this goon with the best joke known to all humankind, we are not trained monkeys who can just perform on command. Sometimes we get lucky and out comes a real barn burner. More often than not, I find, when you task your mind with looking for the source material to do the thing, your brain instead steps into a giant mental warehouse of nothing. You have nothing to offer in that moment. It seems as if it's all gone. But if you were to get to the thing organically without the pressure of having to prove yourself through performance, a person is more likely to deliver the goods. So when someone says, write a love song, it's not that you are incapable of doing it, but doing it in a way that you will develop something good or meaningful is less likely because the pressure of meeting someone else's preconceived notion of what might be coming is crushing to the creative process, for me at least. When I write a song, the real intent of the piece takes time to define. What does it mean is not really the most important question. Like writing a story, the parts and pieces will define themselves as you go. You might start out with a destination, but along the way you realize you're on a path to something different. Interesting. From 2007 to 2019, I tinkered with the tune I'm sharing today working on it, then putting it over there, then bringing it back, and then setting it aside again. The reasons are many. I liked it. I didn't like it. It's like a novelty song. Nobody will take you seriously if you write silly songs. But it's fun. Don't we deserve some silly now and then? Nobody takes you very seriously anyhow. There's nothing to lose. Thus, the battle rages. The silly things we do rarely get the attention the more serious-seeming things we do because we all want to be seen as being capable creators who have a dedication to our craft. And somewhere along the line, the value of learning through play was replaced with work being the thing that must absorb all our focus. I was never very good at that. There's always a time for a little play, or at least a notion of playfulness. So for whatever it is or isn't, I wrote this tune over a dozen or so years about someone intent on writing a song, a love song and the time he has with it. I've never recorded it before today. And by that I mean what happens here in the next few moments. It could be history in the making. Who knows? It's a wonder I know how it goes with no demo to guide me. It's just kind of stuck in my head, and that's okay. So let's give it a go. Here is Love Song. I'm going to sit down here and write you a love song. I'm going to tell you everything that I feel. I'm going to pour my silly heart out onto this paper. I'm not shooting for good. I'm just shooting for real. Started off singing about the night. Of course, there's not a single cloud in sight. The birds will sing while the crickets chirp in harmony. 
I'll tell you all the ways your love means more By using several clever metaphors Pay attention please, I think my muse is calling me I was thinking, la 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 Your eyes are like moonlight I was thinking, la 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 You shine like the sun I was thinking, la, 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 I hope you like this love song, because this love song's my only one, yeah. Now I'll tell you you're the only one. But skip the part of how you're second to none A choir of angels replaces the birds and the crickets And if you leave me I'll be sadder than hell But keep it happy so on that I won't dwell And speaking of hell, what the hell kind of word rhymes with crickets Tickets Can't use rickets That's just sick, it's Hmm. Wait, I think I see I was thinking la 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 No words can describe you I was thinking la 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 You're ageless in time I was thinking la la hate writing love songs if you want a love song go write your own if you want a love song go write your own until next time play freely